Welcome back to the channel. We in week four of this wide receiver league. With wide receiver Chris Mack playing for the Kansas City Chiefs. Just sitting here looking at going over some news and seeing what was good for week three. We had that week three game. We in week four. Getting ready to go up and take on the New York Jets Sunday night game. So I'm just going through a couple of things to see what's happening in the league. I uh, want to go over to the transactions uh, and see what's happening there. See who uh, getting contracts signed, who getting signed back to their teams, who done been traded, everything like that. So let's go. So we currently in week four. And as you can see, some of these teams are signing people back, signing people off practice squads, uh, signing, signing them back to their contract. We can go down and just look at all this just for week four. And these uh, people are getting signed here. That's week three, so week four is right there. So let's go over to uh, who got traded. Okay, so you can see in week four who got traded. The Bengals traded the 2024 uh, six round pick to the Patriots. And who did they get? Patriots trade uh, strong safety Adam Phillips to the Bengals. Okay, a good trade. Zachary Carter. Okay, so we got some team making moves. Right. So let's go over to the and see who won uh, the AFC and the, and the NFC Offensive Players of the Week. NFC Offensive Player of the Week, Dak Prescott. NFC Defensive Player of the Week, Joe Horn. AFC Player of the Week, Joe Barrow. And AFC Def Defensive Player of the Week, Milano. So these are the numbers I put up last week. Six catches, 72 yards, two touchdowns. I mean, the Bears' defense was tough. I couldn't hardly. I dropped a lot. I dropped some balls, too, but it's not showing that. Uh, man, the defense was tough. So without further ado, let's get into this week four game. Going to travel, take on the Jets. Enjoy. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up, we've got Aaron Rodgers. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Jets and the Chiefs under the lights on Sunday night. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on town. As it will be the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, when the schedule came out back in May and folks made their lists of what might possibly be the best games of the year, this one definitely garnered a lot of votes. So now here we are, week four, Mahomes versus Rodgers. The Chiefs offense ready to get going again. 3-0 and oh are they on the new season. Week four. And the one we'll be watching is this man at wideout as he was terrific in that ball game a week ago. Excellent route running. Good moves in the middle of it. And how about the hands at the end to make the catches and get into the end zone. Now a seventh round surprise from a year ago. It's Isaiah Pacheco. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he's able Pacheco. to get up to the 37-yard line. All week. Go in there, establish yourselves. Well, that run right there, that slows down the crowd and gives them a lot of confidence. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And oh, right away, he lost the ball. Oh, he fumbled. He fumbled the ball. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along to the turnover. 
Second and short now following the fumble. And who re-signed with the Chiefs back in May. Here's Jarek McKinnon. And he'll get it out to midfield in September. And they come in on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in mm. victory. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And they're on your screen, Charles. The key inactives guys out this week. Running to them is that it creates opportunity for someone else on the depth chart. Will they take advantage of it with good play? Or have they not prepared well? They can he make dropped the ball. And they block their hurt their team. Uh, now number 30 in the lead right now. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get out of the world or chip away at their timing. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 27-yard line. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight. Because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Good job, Pachenko. You go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds. So it gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. A run by Pacheco on second down. Good block, good block. And for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, just about an ideal start to this one offensively because on the road, you want to make sure you quiet the home crowd early. And how do they do it? Nice march to start things off, let the run game find its footing early. That drive certainly checked a lot of boxes, and they finished it off with a touchdown run. See what Mr. Rogers got. Mm -hmm. You drive. Okay, D. Made grooves. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And Franklin is just a battle of bulls in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive or the other. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Here's Mahomes to throw. And his throw is incomplete. When you talk about these Jets. What's their mindset? What's the problem that they have? Will they create an identity that allows them to get better? Throwing now is Mahomes. He completes this one to Matt. Good catch, good catch. He will have a Chiefs first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there. On used to a new terminology, new playbook, new quarterback, you name it. But he's certainly been solid in his first month, and he's got a first down. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. The numbers for Travis Kelsey last week. Four catches, 87 yards, and a touchdown. The 45. Here's a second down and four. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield. But like what we're seeing from the offensive line, they seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runners giving us too. It appears that he's been waiting all the passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. Okay. Good catch. At least you didn't drop it, man. You got pop now. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top. Thought I was going to drop that. On 
On first and ten, here's Pacheco. Mm. There's big Quinn and Williams, the old pro, in on the tackle. This defense for the Jets. Because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're mm. going for. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Hard throw, incomplete. Burn it. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. So here are the Chiefs to take over. They're on a good job defense. Streak, right now looking good in this one as well. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And in oh, he dropped the ball. The field. That'll bring us certainly a shift that he wants to write quickly. They fake the give. Now the homes. And home. But the gap man comes to final play before the quarter ends. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Oh, you had him. He was oh, my bad. I ran the wrong. Mm. That's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through the completion there. Now drive. Here go. Roger. Straight down the straight down the field. Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Great catch at first down by Kelsey, who somehow continues to improve. Ten seasons and seven all-pro nods in. And this they go play fake. Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Mack. And he's brought down. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Running left to give it to Checo. Nah, oh, they got me for. Oh, man. Illegal block in the back. Now Mahomes. Throw left side complete. Man, how did you fall? And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for the chain, second and 13.
They go play action. Now Mahomes. His throw incomplete. So it looked like someone was very and knocked it away. The offense on third down tonight. They've hit two for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Good catch. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 24-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. That's the third time on this drive that these by that last play. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. Get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Mahomes now to throw. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone of the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Pass taken in by his good play. Good play. The Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up first down. So the ball remains at the eight yard line. Second and goal. Now here's Mahomes. This is caught. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Like they're going to take me out. Took me out and they scored a touchdown. Come on, defense. Nice sack. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. Last time out, now with a shorter field. They should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Meanwhile, the Holmes throw here complete to Kelsey. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the 142-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 40. Scrimmage the 15. It's first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife. Down from the eight, they can get a first down by reaching the five. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Complete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And will find the open man. That's complete. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I tried to keep well, running. Going for it. What do you mean, a chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Oh my God. In motion right is a running back. We got one more. Oh my God. Oh man. I guess we're going to kick the field goal now. 
just seen it. I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fired I got work getting off that... Uh... Third quarter. Yeah, I got to do some work getting off that uh, that press, man. He pressed the hell out of me. Come on, defense. possession and even though they have that lead it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back maybe they need at least three here on this drive momentum stays in your camp an incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25 they're going to look to throw complete the tight end kelsey and they work this well up field across the 45 a gain there of 21 yards I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. That is straight, it's Pacheco. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Wow. Two yards, the loss, second and two. Contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that'll be off the mark. Two wow, man. Front and it's incomplete. Just missed that one. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. He completes this one to Mac. Oh, I didn't get the first? Down short, maybe by a yard, if that. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. There's another example where defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force him. it off. And defense. There you go. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. Four is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. The home's throw caught by Tony. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball all the way up at the 40-yard line? They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he's tackled a yard short. Good run, Pacheco. Good gain of nine on first and clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Touch pass. They send the receiver in motion. Just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. Oh, good. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception. Look at that, that. Look at that block on. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure. 
One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and two. Here's Pacheco once again. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. To the right side, it's Kelsey. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Very quickly here, and that's complete. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Look back above the A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And again, it's Mahomes. Oh, what the? <sighs> so it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal, Man. three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So let me explain on the previous play. They took me out the game and the team scored. And now we're going for a two point conversion, which failed. It's complete, and he is not gonna get oh, in there. Man, they stopped it. short of the goal line, and the lead is gonna stay right where it is. As we've prepared for these games, we've noticed offensive coordinators have had an expanded playbook on two point conversion tries because they never know when they may have to use it during a game. But that also means the defense probably has more for these situations too, right? Oh, no doubt about it. I think for the most part, defenses will be aggressive on two-point tries. They want to get after the offense and make them force the issue. And here the defense wins. Man, I need that catch so bad, that touchdown, man. He threw it low. Couldn't get it. I want to put up some numbers against these Jets, man. Oh, well. Come on, defense. There you go. Ball back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one? The advanced win metrics? The football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. Mahomes to throw on second down. It's Kelsey on the ground. Mahomes finding his tight end Kelsey for a big one. 46 yards. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. Wow. Kelsey on a linebacker. Ease him up all. That for a chain mover. They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
where they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made. Mahomes now on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Mack. Call it a gain of six. Yeah, better against man than zone or? Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running. In. And intercepted. The... Maybe the turning point. Oh, my game. gosh. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Jets are right back in this football game. Well, this deep, particularly the secondary, has been picked apart at points here tonight. They finally, though, get to the quarterback, get a pick. And we know this about him. He loves night games, loves the spotlight, loves being the center of attention. I will bet you that he ran off the field almost chuckling to himself. They finally got one. They finally got me. Come on, defense. There you go. I think this pretty much going to be it. Thanks for joining me. If you like the content, Please like, share, and subscribe. KC's offense ready to take over. And checking the timeouts. They do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Like I said, if uh, you enjoy the content, please share, like, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all tuning in. He's gonna get it again. Just there you go. There you go. The Jets gonna go ahead and use their final timeout as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. And there it is. Another win. Until the next time. I'm out. Yeah, tough environment indeed. How about all the people we can hear shouting from their seats right below us, partner?